hey guys welcome to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so let's get right into this video today i will be using bellavina polygel and i'm going to be doing a spring nail design where i encapsulate some glitters and dried flowers using the femi beauty method i did my nail prep off camera i already applied my peel off base coat and my sunscreen to my hands now i'm just applying a layer of base coat to my nails and then i cure for 30 seconds These are the polygels I'll be using today. If you'd like to purchase anything from the Bellavina or Double Dip store, I have a discount code for you guys. I will leave it on the screen as well as a link for you guys to use. That will be in the description below. Starting on the pinky nail, I applied the white poly gel to the nail tip and I'm using base coat as my slip solution. So I'm just patting the poly gel to distribute it in the nail tip. These poly gels are from the nude poly gel kit from Bellavina. And I'm not really a fan of white poly gel. I've never been a fan of white poly gel or acrylic, but I thought I would use it today because this nail design was inspired by a picture I saw on Instagram. I would insert the picture very soon in the video. I'm not sure where I will insert the picture, but the white poly gel, it's sometimes hard to manage and it's never a neat application when you use white poly gel but i just thought i would still use it and what you saw me doing there was i'm just popping some of the bubbles that appeared in the poly gel it's always good to do that so that you would have a neat and seamless application Next, I place it on my nail, cleaned up the excess, and then I cure. So I have this nail lamp that I got from Double Dip as well. It's a mini nail lamp used with the Gel X dupe system. I decided to use it for this design just to see if it would work well and if I'd like it. So I placed my finger in the lamp and cured. This lamp is nice and convenient. However, it doesn't cure the nail all the way through. So you have to put your hand in a larger lamp when you are finished. So this is basically a lamp to flash cure the poly gel when necessary. And also this is a 16 watt lamp and to cure poly gel, you would need a 36 watts or higher, like 48 watts or 56 watts. And my lamp is a 48 watts by the way. Moving on, I applied base coat to a quarter of the nail tip and I'm going to be using this beautiful glitter I got in my McCart poly gel kit. So I just dip the tip in to the glitter and made sure to clean up the excess and I'm trying to make a straight line with the glitter. The difficult thing about using glitters first is that it gets everywhere so I have to try and clean it up before applying the solid color and I'm using slip solution to clean this up. Then I cured the glitter in the mini nail lamp. So 
then I applied some clear poly gel to encapsulate the glitter and cured again. So I decided to do the index nail right away so that the ring and the index nail both lined up. On the index nail, I applied base coat to a quarter of the nail. I think I'm wrong. This is, well, I know I'm wrong. This is more than a quarter, but a little less than a half so let's go with a third of the nail if you'd like to say that whatever y'all are seeing what i'm doing so yeah i'm just patting the poly gel in place right here making sure to get a straight line with the poly gel and then i cured and if you guys are watching this video i'd like to say thank you for clicking on this video and don't forget to give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed already please make sure and subscribe Now back to the ring nail, I am applying the nude poly gel to the nail bed area and making sure it doesn't overlap the glitter or else the line wouldn't be as straight since the glitter is a bit transparent. And then I place it on my nail, cleaned up the excess. I had to clean the underside of this nail as well so that the line would appear somewhat straight. And then I flash cured in the mini nail lamp. On the middle nail, I'm doing the whole nail with this nude poly gel. Next, I placed it on my nail, cleaned up the excess and cured in the mini nail lamp. I'll be using some dried flowers on the index nail, so I'm just choosing the ones I want. Next, I placed base coat on the nail bed area. Then I stuck two dried flowers on the nail and cured.
Then I applied base coat to seal in the flowers so that when I apply my poly gel, the flowers would move. And before curing, I sprinkled some of the glitter on the nail and then I cure. While this nail was curing, I'm using the white poly gel on the thumbnail. Also, this design was inspired by this picture I have right here. Now back to the index nail, I applied clear poly gel to the nail bed area. And then placed it on my nail, cleaned up the excess and then cured in the lamp. So I gave the nails a full cure in my 48 watt lamp for 1 minute. Next I placed some rubbing alcohol on my nails to remove the tacky layer and then I began filing the nails. And I did apply way too much poly gel to the thumbnail that is why it had so much spillage on that nail. I usually have issues with that nail when it comes to applying poly gel. Sometimes I don't know how much to apply. Well, sometimes I cannot average how much to apply and I apply too much. And also, I usually um, cure the thumbnail for a little longer because sometimes the thumbnail, like I don't know if it's, it is because of the position of the thumbnail. When I put it in the lamp, it doesn't cure fully for 30 seconds. So usually I would cure the thumbnail for about a minute sometimes even longer it depends just so that it could get a full cure
I'm going to be using these rhinestones I got in my Bellavina Poly Gel Kit. On the middle and the ring nail, I applied Mother One's Gel Glue and Bellavina Top Coat. Next, I applied the rhinestones and cured for 30 seconds. Then I top coated the rest of the nails and cured. I actually applied some rhinestones to the thumbnail too, but I didn't show that. And then I applied top coat to the underside of the nails and cured for 30 seconds. So this is the finished look. I really like how my color block and encapsulated dried flowers nail design turned out. Double dip poly gels are really good too. The double dip nail lamp isn't for poly gel. I just wanted to try it out just because but it worked well to flash cure the nails. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next one.